Hey guys, Carson here. Today I'm going to be unboxing what just might be the best Bluetooth audio receiver on the market right now for price and range. This product right here from BMR is called Bluetooth Music Receiver. It claims to have a 75 foot range and can be plugged in through a 30 pin USB cable from Apple and a can also be plugged in if you don't have that through a 3.5 millimeter jack which is like headphone jack so I'm going to be testing whether this has the range and works how it says it does so let's get to the unboxing also I just wanted to point out before unboxing that the yes I am outside but the reason I'm outside right now is because I'm going to be testing this out here so let's get to the unboxing first on the box you can see here's the um, front of the box side just says 30 pin and 3.5 millimeter jack music receiver and on the back says okay blah 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 this stuff if you really want to read it there just take a screenshot or something right now okay so open it up Okay, first thing I notice is that this is, has some paper in here, and also the receiver itself. Tips, if there is an unexpected beeping sound when not playing music, please turn off the Bluetooth adapter by pressing the on and off switch till the light is off or turn off the Bluetooth function of your cell phone to depair the Bluetooth adapter to avoid the beeping sound. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, so also there's um, a regular RCA to 3.5 millimeter adapt plug or cord right here, and 3.5 to 3.5. Sorry if you hear that clicking. That's my dog Marley. And here's the receiver itself. Actually, it's pretty small. If you guys can see. Here's my hand. There's the sides of the receiver. Nothing on the back. Just BMR got 3.5 millimeter jack right there on and off button and 30 pin Apple plug so I read online and a few reviews on Amazon that this has a built-in battery so I guess I'm just gonna turn it on right now and see if it works it said hold for like five seconds right oh look there's a light so apparently this works out of the box, <laughs> or at least mine does, it's charged. So okay, now I'm going to go to my speaker and let's try it out. The speaker I'm going to be plugging this into is my QSC K12 loudspeaker from the QSC K series and it has a 12 inch woofer and I think a 2 inch tweeter. It is one of the best sounding speakers that I've ever heard and I bought it online on eBay once and if you're planning on buying it, it's pretty expensive, so just be ready to shell out some money if you're planning on buying it because it is a commercial speaker. So anyways, I'm now going to show you how I get this all hooked up. So first, I've obviously got to plug the speaker in. Next, you obviously plug it into the wall. Now that the speaker is plugged in, I'm going to take the RCA 3.5 millimeter cord that came with the BMR Bluetooth receiver and I'm going to attempt to use this but if it's too cheap then I'm going to go grab another adapter that I have so plug it into the speaker here and I'm going to plug it into the VMR receiver obviously now just turn on the speaker and I'm going to turn the gain up to a quarter of the way power on the VMR Okay, so I just heard a beep sound. So I'm going to be using my iPhone 5 to connect to the Bluetooth receiver. So first I'm going to go to settings obviously, Bluetooth, turn it on, and devices. I'm guessing that means that I have to hold this down again for six seconds until the beeping or the blinking goes to red and blue.
So now should be showing up. No, nothing. Let's try it once more. Oh, okay. So you have to wait until the second beep. So now you can see there's the BMR. Shows up as BMR. Connecting. And there was another beep. So now I'm going to go pick some music and I'll show you what I've done. I've decided to put the Bluetooth receiver right in front of the speaker right there so then I will get to know the exact range of where it is and setting it on the ground won't interfere the deck or nothing like that so now let's get to the testing one thing that I noticed getting down here is that this when you're connected to Bluetooth on an iPhone right there it's showing the battery how much battery I have oops how much battery I have right now on the Bluetooth device. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so right now I'm approximately 20 feet away from the speaker and the Bluetooth device, and I decided to play Cheerleader, the Felix Jane remix. And so, yeah, let's see if there's range here, which there should be. And there is sound. Right now I'm just holding my iPhone as a regular use, like just holding in my hand. So now let's move back a little bit further and see. Okay, so right now I'm at least 30 feet away right now, and it is still playing like a charm right now. Let's move back even farther. Okay, so right now I'm guessing I'm about 40 feet away. And I've realized it started to kind of cut out every so often while holding it like this. But holding it like this, where the actual iPhone is putting out the signal towards the speaker, it's still working. This far. So let's go even further. Okay guys, it's still working right here, but I realized that I've really had to hold my iPhone like this right now. So then the signal actually gets to the receiver. Still, there's no delay though. I can adjust the volume and it still does it like right away. And I'll also do a stop right here. Now I guess there's a little bit of a delay, but that's expected from this far, th far away because most Bluetooth devices from this range cut out for sure. So yeah, right now, again, I'm over 50 feet away, and it's still playing. Okay, as you guys can hear right now, it's cutting out, even holding it like this. And it's skipping, and it's doing all that crazy stuff, but... By now I'm probably close to 60 feet away and that is insane if you ask me. This is like one of the best receivers you could definitely get. In conclusion guys, this is probably one of the best Bluetooth receivers that you could buy that I've found. It is on Amazon, sold right now for $29.99 and I received this in four days actually so it ships pretty fast. Um, as I was saying in the video, uh, the range that I got to before it started cutting out was a little over 50 feet. And so if you're planning on using this with an iPhone, it probably only lasts about that far. And that was with me holding it like this, like straight towards the speaker. And yeah, so that was just so then it could go directly to it. But if I was holding it like regular use, it wouldn't have worked. So. Yeah, so this doesn't have the 75 foot range that it says it has on Amazon, but I haven't tested it with a laptop or something like that with more range or a bigger antenna on it, so I don't necessarily know 
if it does have a greater range, it might depend on if you're using a laptop or maybe an iPhone 6, something like that. Sorry for the roosters in the background. That's my neighbor's rooster. Yeah, thanks for ruining my video. Stupid rooster, shut up. So anyway, this plus the battery, um, on Amazon it says the battery lasts about five hours, but I don't really know for sure because I haven't tested this for this for that long yet. So if you're planning on buying this, I'm going to put the link down in the description for Amazon. Um, also, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe and might come back next week with another tech video. So there you go, guys. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this. Receivers that you can buy. I just dropped it. Wow.